Welcome back. Let's go back out to Ozark to check in with Tom. Yeah, Tom, what do you have for us this time? What I have, it, it's really cool because, you know, we talked about the, the uh, Christian County History Museum, and actually it's like right on the other side of the camera, but in the same building, you have the Finley River Art Gallery, and you can see this, what is right in back of me. That's the work of this gentleman right here, Larry Wagoner. Larry, thanks for coming in and talking to us. My pleasure. All right, this is something that you're kind of known for in the Ozarks because you have pieces all over the work you do on murals. I have several around. Yeah. And I, uh, I do a, uh, a mural every two months for the stained glass theater. Uh huh. So I've uh, been doing that for 17 years. So I've always got work going on there. What are we backups. see? What are we seeing behind us though? This, this is a history there. mural right here. Mm -hmm. uh, I did this 10 years ago and basically uh, I started in black and white went across into to the color as you got closer to our time. Yeah. Uh, several things that aren't there anymore uh, like the bald knobbers uh, doing the wheat things like that, that's right. not With done anymore. Right, the pressure or whatever that is. The old covered bridge is no longer there. That's there though, the church. Church is still there. Yeah, we still yep. have the church in the yep. area. Uh, they, I mean, it is amazing. You see the passage of time, the flowing of time, and the fact that long ago there was no such thing as color. It was all black and white and sepia, right? Yes, <laughs> the photographs, yes it was. That's just about it. Yeah. But, you know, of course you are known for the many murals you do, but you also have other work, I know, on display here at, at, yes. at the gallery. Yeah, we have a lot of different things. I, uh, I work in oils and uh, charcoal mainly. Mm -hmm. These are a couple, uh, and different styles too. Yeah. These are a couple still lives that we, that we set up here on Wednesdays. We have an open painting. People can come in and they can paint. So I take the, uh, the antiques that are from around here, I set them up back there, yeah. and then uh, we paint them. It's amazing. So, uh, and that's, that's one thing. While we look at some of the paintings, if, you, you know, if the camera wants to go and look around, you have classes here. You do teach here. We have some free classes on, mm -hmm. on Saturdays in the spring and in the fall. Right. Uh, the two-hour classes. Uh, I do an oil class and maybe a pencil class. Right. We have watercolor. We have uh, uh, stained glass at times. Different different things like that. Yeah. And people can kind of get in and get their feet wet. Right. And anybody is welcome to do this. Yes. This is a, oh yes. This is an open book here That's or, right. or an open easel. Whatever yeah. You want to call it. Everything's supplied for them. It's all free. Mm -hmm. You just come in. Uh, we'll set up a little things for you, and they give you a little. A little taste. Yes. And you might say, oh, I can do watercolor. This turned out pretty good. Right. Go home, buy your supplies, and start. So you get, you get an idea of what you can do. So you, have, you, you, you do have the classes, but also this is a living gallery. It is a changing gallery. I know you have different displays that come in from time to time. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, well, we change everything out, or at least we try to move them around and try to get people to move them out every, four, every three months. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can come in, in in three months or even less than that, and whatever has been sold has to be replaced with something else. And so uh, what you see on this wall this time yeah. will be moved to another wall, be separated. Yeah. So you feel like you're coming into a different different place. But I notice, notice you have some easels set up. There is a whole new showing that's coming in here yes. as well. Yes, we have four shows a year. Mm -hmm. We have a drawing show, a mystery box show. This is our, our one in, uh, in August. This is our big show, yeah. so everything has to be 24 by 36 mm. or larger. Uh, we should have about 15 or 20 of those in. And when is that going to be? They all have to be in by this, by this week, yeah. by this weekend, and they'll be up for, th for three weeks. For so three come weeks. see it. It's a really a nice show, one of our yeah. best ones we have. And, and uh, you know, the other thing that I know when you were kind of showing me around, paintings, yes, but you have stained glass, you have jewelry, all these types of things. Exactly. They're all pieces of art. And they're all done by our local artists. There's mm -hmm. about 12 artists, 13 artists in here, all within Christian County, a few from Greene County, yeah. but a uh, wonderful group of artists. They are so talented, so we're glad to have them here. Now, we heard that the uh, History Museum is open from Wednesday through... Through Saturday. Through Saturday. Is that the same for the gallery yes. then? 10 to 3. Okay, and, and the nice thing that I found out, it doesn't cost you anything to walk through oh, the door. No and observe all of this and learn things as well. Yeah, we love to talk about art. 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so do I. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. So, okay, it's right across from the courthouse. You really can't miss it. You'll learn things. You'll appreciate the art. And who knows, you may even find an artist inside of you. Back to you guys. Hey, Tom, I know he's done some really big murals. Ask Larry where some of those are that we might recognize. Larry, they're, they're asking at the, at the station, where else do you have murals up that people might, you know, recognize or be able to go? Oh, uh, we at? have some, I had one in Lamar that we did several years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, in Branson, at the world's largest toy museum. Yeah. I have several that I've painted inside there. Uh, a few more in Branson that I work with, Rain Klotfelter, he's a really great artist. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think where else. A lot of homes, inside homes, yeah. which you wouldn't know of. But uh, stained glass theater is probably the uh, there you go the most so stained glass theater. Go down to the toy museum in Branson. They're all around. Yes. Really. Yeah. Again, thanks. We appreciate it. You're so welcome. There, you can see a bunch of them around the area. Yep. Thanks, Tom. We know that Larry is an amazing artist. Yep. We love his murals. All right. Coming up on Ozarks Live, Blake chats with the most recently eliminated team from the Challenge USA. That's right. More on that after the break.